welcome to our annual Roman Reed uh, kickoff breakfast. This is our fourth one this year. Mary Lou Bicknell is a reading specialist here at Thomas E. Bowe Elementary School. And while she's aware of the fact that New Jersey reading scores are among the best in the nation, she's also keenly aware that boys are usually more interested in sports than they are reading. So she came up with the Real Men Read program. My boys are now looking at the men that are reading and say, okay, our gym teacher doesn't just teach gym, he does read a magazine. The program invites men from the community to get together with the fourth through sixth grade boys at a breakfast where they can discuss reading. Mary Lou also displays posters of each guest to raise awareness about them and what they like to read. That's the kind of books I like. What kind of book do you like? I like books based on actual events. So not too much fiction. So I try to, when I read, that's what I'll usually do. More importantly, I ask them what is it they wanted to be, and the vast majority are NFL. <laughs> you know, they're all going to be sports people, and I just stress that you know, in order for that to happen, for that to become a reality, you're going to have to go to college, and that's why it's important that they read and get a good education, because that's going to be the gateway for them to pursue that next level. How old were you when you read your first three books? The earliest I can remember reading my first book, I was four. And I was overly excited to be here because literacy is something that I'm very passionate about and doing works in other realms with, so it just made sense to definitely be a part of a program, especially in the district, uh, as this is my home district, uh, being an alum of Glassboro Public Schools, so I felt the need to be here to give back. Before I came to Bell School, I didn't really, like, I wasn't interested in reading, then I was in the Real Men Read program, then it got, then it was, it was getting more interested. It got me into reading more, made me read more. Real men do read, very definitely. I have a, a real strong interest in reading. I think it's, you know, uh, children should learn that at an early age. I, my, my own home is filled with books. Real Men Read is a, a positive program for our students. Um, it's amazing to see how students are becoming so uh, encouraged by what they see. All the research suggests that our male students are, are falling behind their female counterparts in the area of reading, language arts. So by seeing these posters of men in the community, people that they can relate to and touch and see, they can see uh, athletes, they can see teachers, they can see custodians, someone who rides a motorcycle, a picture of them reading a book and then following up with actual having conversation with them and encourage them to read, it's allowing a lot of our young people to say, wow, George Johnson Jr. was one of my sixth graders many years ago. Um, he went on to be a walk-on and played for Rutgers University and now he is a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. So he has um, a special, special place in our heart. I read Hog, which is Harley Owners Group. When you buy a Harley, they send you a book. I just like seeing the kids read, you know. They get excited, you know, they see the bike, but they're our up-and-coming future. Read. Knowledge is power. You gotta read. When they saw Mr. Brian in a Harley Davidson, they could not believe it because he had his goggles on, he had his black leather on. It really is a great picture. In addition to the Real Men Read Breakfast program, Mary Lou also has an after-school book club for the boys. Okay, our story then, you know, we're back is, let me remember the title. The book club inspires me to read more and read different types of books instead of reading just one book. Instead of me reading all mysteries, read sports, um, fiction, nonfiction, and other types. Reading will help you in life and make you better at things. So that kind of inspired me to read more. This program to me has started as something that was so small and has snowballed into something that's huge. Boys who were reluctant readers, did not want to read, didn't want to pick a book up, are now picking up books. Boys who would maybe get a 20 on a test and say, forget it, I'm not going to read ever again, are now passing with, you know, a 70. I have seen some improvement, which is good. We have a long way to go still, but there is light at the end of the tunnel, which is great. So it's important that you keep reading to learn how to take out the information you need.